So when we look at different types of food and different levels of processing of foods, we can start on one hand looking at highly processed junk foods. So I'll just draw this little red box and write here processed junk foods. These are things like potato chips and um, you know candy bars and they would probably be the lowest nutritional content. If we then look at the next best foods for our bodies and our growing children's bodies, we see that if we look at things like processed canned foods or processed flours, these ones will provide us with a little bit more in terms of nutritional content, um, but you know, not, not perfectly ideal when you see what the next category has to offer. So if we move along to the next bar, we see that we get even more nutrition when we are looking at foods like unprocessed or less processed um, types of, sorry, I'm just gonna write unprocessed before I make a spelling mistake. So we're looking at unprocessed grains in this block and things like root vegetables, like beets and carrots, um, also allium vegetables, those are things like onions and garlic, those things also um, offer us substantially more nutritional value than processed junk food or processed canned food. The tallest category, the one that gives us the most nutritional bang for our buck, if you will, are the very famous and very important things like fruits and vegetables. So these are obviously unprocessed, um, fresh, we're talking about fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. And these guys really give our bodies the most nutritional value for, for weight or the most nutrient density, the highest nutrient density. So what that means is that the foods on this side are low in nutrient density or low in nutrition, and they're also foods that don't spoil very quickly. So they last for a really long time. And this is one of the reasons why they're so profitable for, for processed food manufacturers to make and sell. And then on the other end, if we look up at the top here, we see that these foods are very high in their nutrient density or their nutritional value to us. And at the same time, they're going to spoil quickly because other sort of um, pests are going to compete for these foods. So what that means is if we have something that we call a spoil rate or the rate at which a food is going to go off if we leave it in our homes, then the spoil rate is gonna go up with increasing nutrient density. So if at all possible, we should choose foods that spoil quickly because that usually means that they're gonna be better for us.